Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for the finale, which is episode 19 this season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is the finale, episode 19. This was directed by David Harewood, so again, another style of the show directing. This was supposed to be the penultimate episode, but in the end, what they did, they've mushed together two episodes. Episode 20, which was the new finale date. Originally, it was 22 episodes. Then, you know, way back in about December or so, they were told that they were going to, you know, pull down the episode count to 20 in order to accommodate Melissa. And I'm sure there were probably a few other factors as well. But anyway, so now it is 20, then it was cut down to 19, and so they shot 20, but they didn't finish it, so it's not like one whole full episode. So what they did, they've mashed together 19, which is David's episode, with footage from 20, so it's going to be like a whole big finale. Hopefully there's less filler, because you're going to have two episodes, and you're going to fit it into 45 minutes, and you got to use the best of those two episodes to make the biggest finale possible. And I think Supergirl is possibly going to be the best finale we're going to get on the DC TV shows because it's the only one that really sort of got to its finale, even though it's not like a proper episode where, you know, you have 19, then you have 20 after, and that's your finale. But they did shoot most of it, and they're going to include it, so that's why it's going to feel most like a finale. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the trailer. So we're going to be breaking down the trailer and also some photos that they just released. So the first shot of the trailer is with Gemma, or Gamine as she's called, with Lex, and they are at the Leviathan ship. This is what Lex has been trying to get this whole time. I don't know, there's not too much to sort of break down in the scene, apart from I think there is some sort of coins on the table, there's some paintings, you can tell they're well off, and this ship seems to be kind of fancy, so you can tell it's like very high tech. The gas is going off as they open the doors, it's very dramatic. So let's move on to the next photo, we've got Gemma as she looks at Lex, and Lex says, Shall we begin ending the world? So this is a big thing, so it seems like how they're going to finish the finale and what Leviathan and Lex's final plan is, it's probably Leviathan's intention to end the world or to have a massive event like they've triggered in the past. And for Lex, I think he's going to pretend to go along with this, but remember Lex's true plan is for him to be in control. So he's going to get into the ship, this is the whole reason of what he's been doing the past two weeks, to gain Leviathan's trust so that he can get onto their ship and essentially destroy Leviathan from there because Leviathan poses the biggest threat to him, not just to the world, but to him. So that's why he needs to get in with them, but then to, you know, overthrow them in some way or another. I don't know how exactly he's going to do that, but he's tricking them already. Okay, so the next shot in the trailer is of Alex. Alex is there with Kara in their apartment, and I don't know, you know, if there's much more to break down within that scene. But we move over to the next shot, and we've got Supergirl and Lena shaking hands. So, yeah, officially it seems like they are working together in order to defeat Lex. Seems like how they ended last episode, which is probably to do with the shot we saw before with Alex. Maybe Alex shows up, and... It seems like they make up. I don't know if they're going to become friends by this episode, but they got a sort of new understanding and they're shaking hands. Seems like they're in Lena's place and they are working to defeat Lex and also defeat Leviathan at the same time. But they think they're working together, which they are. But I guess in the end, Lex is going to get away with it just for now until next season. And then they will be able to defeat Lex because John Cryer recently did an interview where he talked about how his arc was actually cut short and that was some of the footage that they didn't film. So it seems like Lex is going to continue on to next season, whereas he was supposed to originally be defeated at the end of this season. Okay, so the next shot is Supergirl and she says, let's do this as the camera pans into her face. And so it seems like she's in that same place with Lena at Lena's place and they are working together. Somehow, whatever they're doing here, Seems like she's sitting down or something. Doesn't actually look like she's standing up, so I don't think she's going to fly off and, you know, go defeat Lex or defeat Leviathan, but maybe they do something from Lena's lab. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see, but she says, let's do this. Okay, so moving on, we have the other version of Brainy that appeared earlier in the season in the Brainiac 5-centric episode. This is Megan Raff, played by Jessie Raff's sister, and so she's here with Brainy. They're talking, 
and it seems like maybe she has like a small cameo in this episode to give some sort of advice to Brainy. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's move on. This is interesting, okay? We have two suited people, two suited heroes, jumping away from an explosion, and I don't recognize these suits. I'm pretty sure one of them is Alex in the far distance, and someone else is here. Could this be Kelly and Alex's new suits? They talked about this last episode. I think that's a possibility. It could be someone completely different, maybe not Kelly or Alex, but I would say it's not such a far-fetched theory because they talked about it. This is the finale. They normally tease up big things for next season in the finale, so I wouldn't put it past them to give them a new suit this episode. So maybe it's them. Let me know your theories in the comments down below. The next shot, we see Kara and Nia. They whip away some curtains and they have a face of shock. So someone has visited them there. Don't know what's happening. But also we got the next shot, which is Brainy talking to the other version of Brainy that we saw before. Nia is dreaming and she's dreaming of something. I'm guessing it could be for what's happening next. We have Eve as she pulls out a gun. And remember at the end of last episode, Eve kidnapped William. And so William is here putting his hand out. Eve's about to shoot him. Is William going to die? I think there is a possibility. Lots of people have been theorizing about him dying. But then them putting it in the trailer seems too obvious. And the next shot kind of looks like Supergirl is in the same place as where they are. So I think Supergirl is going to come and save William. I'm not sure how she finds out where Eve is. But I'm guessing she sort of puts the dots together and finds out that Eve has William. So talking about that, in the next shot we see Supergirl and I think she is just about to save William from Eve. And we see this, Supergirl is slammed to the ground. I'm presuming that's not Eve and I'm presuming that is someone from Leviathan, either Gamane or Rama Khan. Okay, so moving on to the last shot of the trailer, we've got a shot of Lex, and Lex is supposedly talking to Gamane, it looks like. Or it could be Supergirl, I don't know, it's someone with blonde hair, but nevertheless, he says, I'll just kill Supergirl myself. So it seems like he does actually betray Leviathan, and I think this is Gamane, or Gemma, as she is more commonly known. And I think he's betrayed her, and he's telling her that he's about to kill Supergirl himself rather than through Leviathan because he doesn't have any use for Leviathan anymore because he has defeated Leviathan with the help of Supergirl inadvertently. I guess is what's happening. I could be wrong, but that's what I presume from this trailer. Okay, so let's move on to the photos for this episode. So the first photo is in Kara's apartment. Lena is here. She is standing and I presume she's talking to Kara. But then again, the next photo after seemingly in the same position or pretty similar she could be talking to Alex because Kara's next to her but you know we'll have to wait and see it's just a conversation it doesn't really matter that much but they're still in Kara's apartment right at the end of last episode it's probably just a continuation straight away from where we ended so Melissa does a switch and she is in the Supergirl costume seems like there is some sort of alert maybe they found out where Lex is maybe this is when she goes to save William or this could be to defeat Leviathan, but she switches into the Supergirl suit and Lena's wearing the same thing, so you can tell it straight away after. But let's move on to the next photo, still in her apartment, just a close-up of Melissa as Supergirl. She's smiling, seemingly happy, so something good has gone on. And again, I think it's in her apartment as well, but anyway, so she's here. This is just your classic superhero shot as the camera's low. She's looking off into the distance. Just very cool. Again, in her apartment. Seems like most of these are in her apartment. She is smiling once again. So I'm presuming she's just happy that Lena's come to her senses, maybe. I guess it's good to have her friend back. Okay, so let's move on. The final few photos is of Leviathan. And we see Lex here with Rama Khan and also Gemma. And so it seems like they're giving Lex something in these photos. So that is the room where we came from. We're inside the ship now. And also at this point, Gemma's in her suit. So this is her super villain suit that we have seen in behind the scenes photos. And we saw a glimpse of how she actually looks in that brief scene where she confronted Lex a few episodes ago. So yeah, they're in the ship. It seems like they're giving Lex something. And then we move on to the next photo. And the final one is of Gemma aka Gamine, as she is either sitting, kneeling, or she's injured and she's hurt and she's below Ramakan because Ramakan is not that tall and so something's wrong here. Maybe it's some sort of confrontation that has gone on in the ship between the two members of Leviathan. Okay, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos as we head towards this week's finale on Sunday so it's only a few days away I'm gonna be covering it with my review and then after that we'll continue to talk about whatever happens in the finale whatever cliffhangers and also as we head towards the next season videos will be coming out all over the summer no matter when okay so thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.